Hello everyone, in this video we will learn what is cost function, what it does, what is the formula for the logistic regression cost function, and why that formula works. So let's get started. I am Jay Patel and I upload new videos on machine learning every week. So make sure to hit the red subscribe button, also hit the bell icon. And for now, let's jump to this board. Cost function in machine learning is an error representation of the model. Now it shows how our model is predicting compared to the original given data set. For example, if we were to make 100 predictions and out of which our 80 predictions are right, then we can say we have lesser cost function because it has lesser error. But let's say if our only 20 predictions are right, then we say that we have a higher error and thus higher cost function. So more the cost function, lesser the accuracy, and lesser the cost function, more the accuracy. So what we want to do is we want to minimize this cost function. Now, as the cost function is the error representation, we can represent our error by subtracting our predicting value with the actual value. And this will be the error for only one observation. Let's say if we have 10 observation, then what we can do is we can just take the average of all those 10 observation. And this could be our cost function. But there's a problem with this cost function. And that is if our predictions were in continuous form or could have take any values, then this cost function would have worked very well. For example, the output predictions for linear regressions are continuous values, means they can take any number as their output prediction. So this can be represented as the formula for the cost function for linear regression. But logistic regression is used for making the binary classification. So y here can take only either of the two values. Means it can either take 0 or 1 as the output value. So when we try to use this cost function with logistic regression where output are on where output is in the binary form, what happens is that we end up in a local minima instead of the global minima. Let me explain to you. So when we take this formula as the cost function for logistic regression and plot a graph of cost versus parameter, we get a curve something like this. Now, as you can see from this curve, to minimize this cost function or the minimum value of the cost function lies at this point. But let's say if our initial start was here, then it is very likely that we are going to end up to this point as our minimum cost function. So this point is the local minima. But actually we want to reach at this point which would be our global minima. So that's why this formula for the cost function doesn't work. That's why we use a different formula for the cost function and that formula is given by And our y pred here is given by sigmoid of w transpose x plus b. Now if you do not know how this came or if you want to know more about logistic regression then click on the i button here which will take you to another video where I have explained logistic regression well. Now this thing here this much will represent the error for one observation. Now how does this thing represent the error? Let us take a closer look. When we plot a graph of logarithm, it looks something like this. Now, as we also have a minus sign here, let us plot the graph of minus of log x, which will look something like this. Now, in logistic regression, y can only take either 0 or 1 as its value. Let's say if y equal to 0. If y is 0, then this term will be 0, so this won't exist, then our error for one observation will be negative of 1 minus 0 multiplied by log of 1 minus of y pred. Now y pred here is given by this equation and has a sigmoid in it. So its value will be in the range of 0 to 1, any value between 0 to 1. Let's say if y pred is close to 0 which is close to our actual prediction, then 1 minus of y pred will be close to 1 and any value of logarithm which is close to 1 has less value means our error will be lesser and let's say if y pred is closer to 1 which is far from our actual prediction then 1 minus of y pred will be closer to 0 here and our error will be large 
Similarly, if y is equal to 1, then error for one observation will be, so this will cancel out this time. So we will be only left with this much and error will be log of y pred. And if the y pred is closer to 1, which is closer to our actual prediction, then our error will be less. And if y pred is closer to 0, which is far from our actual prediction, then our error will be high. So you can see that whenever y is whenever y is 0 and y pred is approaching to 0, our error is low. And whenever y is 0 and y pred is closer to 1, which is far from our actual prediction, our error is high. That's why this represents the error for one observation. Now let's say if we have m number of observation, then we just take the average of all these errors, which will give us the cost function. So that was about the logistic regression cost function. Now to minimize this cost function, we need to use something called gradient descent algorithm. Now click on this video where we will look at what is gradient descent and how to apply gradient descent for logistic regression. So I see you there.